Okay, what we have here is a flashing LED circuit jewel thief. It's basically just a typical jewel thief circuit. Uh, the only exception is is these two capacitors. Uh, the first one is put in between the two leads of the AA battery. Um, you can use anything from about a 220 uh, to 3300 microfarad. I, in this case I used a 3300 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. <clears throat> this one over here um, I believe you can use it all the way down to a hundred uh, microfarads but in this case I used a 470 microfarad capacitor. Uh, the resistor is a 470 ohm resistor in line. Uh, the transistor I used a 2N 3906 PNP. Um, this being the collector and the emitter and of course the base. Uh, this here was the larger 3 volt LED. Uh, I've used different colors, it doesn't really matter. Um, now on this circuit here, if you remove either one of these capacitors, you won't get the flashing LED. You can change the capacitance up or down and you will change the frequency of the flashing of the LED. Um, this up here just a hand wound ferrite toroid coil. Uh, the one I used here and I'll show you in just a second. Get this camera loose. Um, here's basically the circuit that I've got and you can see the LED flashing. The um, if I can hold this and do this. This one here is the large 3300 microfarad capacitor. Uh, this one here is the 470. Um, here you can see the 470 ohm resistor in line to the transistor and the, the homemade coil. Now on this coil here, it's a little different than the typical ferrite coil what I did is I uh, acquired some washer type uh, ceramic magnets from uh, Radio Shack. They're about an inch and an eighth uh, in diameter with about a uh, 5 16 3 8 inch hole and they're about uh, 5 16 thick. I used two of these magnets and, and the center one is a smaller ferrite core uh, for, running, for making the toroid coils and I hooked these two magnets up where they actually attracted each other so that it's not a north-north on the inside it's a north-south and then on the wire I made one complete loop on one side and then moved over and made another complete loop and then moved over um, so I don't know if you can see it there but you can see the three different sizes and then it works quite good and again if you change the capacitance especially on the little one if you change the capacitance on that capacitor that light will either speed up or slow down to the point of stopping thank you